so the plan is we're gonna start right away with a, like have a coaching special which is a bit special uh because the guy cannot be here for the session he's studying for an exam so good luck for your exam so boy uh hopefully you have smashed it because by the time you see this video the exam would be would be over already hopefully you you passed it um so he sent me a video he sent me a gameplay and we're gonna vote review that gameplay basically and maybe we can learn a few things here on stream and then i would just send him the replay so i can learn from it uh, on his site so let me share my screen and it's a true demer jungle game also which is which is bug okay so let's see i mean i've never done uh, this format i think epic oh no not epic launcher but epic pen can be pretty useful um And yeah, we will get right into it. Okay, so uh, I mean, I mean, I, I will do it like I'm talking to Sudboy, I think. So I mean, his name is Sudboy. S U D H B O I. Yeah. So so yeah, I I I will do it like you're here, and and hopefully it can help. So first thing first, Sudboy. Uh, I do it in every single of my coachings. I keep saying that whenever someone gets into a League of Legends games, a League of Legends game, he has two responsibilities. The first one is to do um, the thinking. It means like looking at the champions, trying to understand how the matchups are going to work, uh, what are the win conditions for both for both sides, etc., etc. And then the second thing would be. Um, jungle tracking so of course you're a jungler so your tracking is going to be pretty easy so you, on, you only have like one guy to track basically um it's going to be really important especially as a jungler because as a jungler you have such a broken role you can try to impact the game the way that you want to so if you analyze and you you realize that this or this is a win condition well you can play for it and you can adapt your pathing to it so that's a first thing a big mistake that many junglers do is that they start bot because bot gives a bigger niche. That's it. Well, that's terrible. That's not how you want to start. So you first do the thinking, and with the thinking, you're gonna realize, okay, I wanna play this side or, or this side. Uh, for example, I will show you like, the things that are really important. So when you get into a game, you can look at um, matchup by matchup, up, matchup, matchup, and then this matchup. Uh, and then uh, you can do 5v5 like random team fight you can look at the scaling so you know if you have to like accelerate the game or not and something that you can do as a jungler is do i win my 1v1 versus my jungler if yes i can path towards the same scuttle crab because most likely you you want to do clear into a scuttle crab and if not you're gonna try to not match your pathing with the jungler basically so that's like those are general ideas general principles so here for example getting into that game i would see that i have a nasus with the ignite against a poppy so i'm already like really scared because yes nasus can uh, scale up and get really big but nasus can also uh, fall behind and become like and like just stay useless during the the, the whole game and the fact that he has ignite is really risky because now like if he if he dies once and now he has a bad wave well he doesn't have a tp to try to fix it he can fall like really hard behind so i will keep that in mind maybe look to help my nasus scale if needed okay graves into trindamir well if graves gets a lead it can be really painful um early skirmishes can be also a bit scary because graves um he stacks armor with his ease uh, but the thing is, like you have a ghost as um, you like as long as you can stick to him, you can you can just beat the guy basically. And if you get a lead, you can just all in him on CD. Uh, it's not gonna be too scary. Also, Grace is not the best ganker. It's not the best ganker. He doesn't have a hard, a hard CC or something. If there is a wave, um, like he can get outplayed with your allies, like playing with the waves, etc. Uh, okay, that's that's good to keep in mind. Uh, but it's a really strong jungler if he like gets to get a lead, basically. So we don't want this Graves to get a lead. 
are we into Veigar? Veigar is super scaling. Uh huh, we already have something. This guy is scaling and this guy is scaling. Interesting. So we know that top side, like, if they just don't fall behind, if they go even, they're winning, basically. Okay, now can Veigar scale easily? Well, he's playing into Ignite Arwy, which can be scary, but he has a TP to come back. So he has basically like two health bar and two mana bar um, for Arwy to take. And also, you know that early on, if you get a kill on Ari, it can do like a lot of damage also, because she has no TP to come back to the lane and get some golden experience. Okay, and then bot lane, we have an ADC with an engaged support with Ignite. And here we have an ADC with an engaged support with, with Exhaust. So this is what I would call like very, a uh, very volatile lane, meaning that if your team gets ahead, at least I can just like engage on CD. And if their team gets, uh, they get ahead, Leona can just engage on CD and they should be able to win it. Interesting. So this is volatile. These guys are scaling, scaling, top side, the whole top side of the map is scaling by default. Um, and now I kind of decide as Trindermere, who do I want to play for? I'd say I want to play for bot lane. Because even if Nasus, we said it, it would be scary, etc. Well, first, it's his decision to go ignite. And, and he made that choice, so probably that, hopefully he knows what he's doing. But also, even if he falls behind, like he's still going to be sort of re like somewhat relevant in the game at some point. But if our bot lane falls behind, it can be like, it can look, be very ugly. So I think this game, I'll be looking to play bot side. And then I will ask myself, do we win bot side skirmishes if it's a 3v3? Let's say now, it's not Samira Leona versus Kaysali Star me, but you add Graves to the balance. Do we win it? I think we can win it. Uh, and at least that's the idea that we have. And then, of course, during the game, I would see like the information because sometimes your bot lane is just going to get killed on your way to bots. And then you have to change your plan. Sometimes you're going to kill them and, and, and you're going to also change your plan, you know. So that's pretty much how you start the game as a jungler. Look at everything um, in the game and try to make your decisions. I'm not, th I'm not saying like... It's the absolute best decision that they made, but regarding all the information that they took, I that's that's what I will be doing in my game personally. I think it's fine to go ghost on Trinamir jungle. Um, it's more important than the flash on the champion. I'm really fine with this. Um, yeah, I mean it's okay not to look too much at the roads. Uh, okay, and then I will think. So I know that from so my. I will probably do top to bot. I will clear my camps from top side to bot side. And also, I would also think about before this even happens, the very first levels, very first minutes of the game, what can happen? What, what Graves, something that Graves can do as a champion, maybe you don't know this, but I mean, you have to make a plan according to your knowledge. And if you don't know, I will teach you that Graves can just do one camp and then E through the Drake pit or, or the Herald pit and then go for an invade level two. Uh, if he thinks that it's winning. So I would maybe like either two things. I mean, just one thing actually. So if my team was good in an invade, I would call for an invade. But here they have Leona, which is way better. And Nasus Vega are, are pretty weak early. So I wouldn't call for an invade. And, and, and I would look to actually drop a ward to be safe from, for, for an invade. And also make sure that we see if Graves is doing like camps into... Uh, our camps. So because I want to start top, maybe I would actually put a ward bot side to check if he's going to invade our bot side. And and during that time, I just uh, clear my top set. Okay, so so that's going to be really important. Whenever you start games, you need to do the thinking and not just get into it and then kind of react to whatever is happening. Um, quality is good and then speed. Do we have your voice? Do you say anything? Okay, not really. Which is very fine. Okay. So now I would probably like be dropping a ward, as I said. Dropping a ward around bot side. Um, may maybe even on my red buff. Maybe in that bush where, where you see my mouse is. Uh, maybe uh, maybe in the in the river. But I would be like kind of concerned of uh, face checking Leona. And then I will start top, and I don't want also, as a jungler, I think, if you want to be a good jungler, you shouldn't expect your team to give you a leech 
powerful. I think it's very selfish as a jungler. It doesn't like it can fuck their lane so hard and it doesn't like make you auto win your jungle. Like these few extra seconds that you win. So I think you should start by yourself always. Uh, so I'll put my, my ward, then base, then buy a red trinket maybe. And that's it. Here, you're already like taking a huge risk. You could already lose your game here. Again, they have Leona. What if they decide to engage, to invade bot side? It's very likely that they do that. Also, you start at Q. I don't think you should start Q. I think, I think E gives you more damage. But first, if you want to face check, you need an E. Also, like E is it's straight up better if if uh, they invade you or anything. And and I think I think you just get more damage. Uh, maybe you have done the testing in, in, in practice tool. If not, you need to try it. But I do believe that E would be faster and also more safe. So this is risky already, but this I really like. This is going to give us like, valuable information. You can ping the ward to get, to get the timer. And here, because you have no ward, maybe you can just already base and buy a red trinket. So by the time you're ganking for the first time, you know if you're seen or not, if you want to gank. But most likely what trainer wants to do is like just kind of uh, power farm and get level 6. So if you can do that, you're, ha you're happy. But still, like you need to be uh, prepared for anything that happened. So now I don't know what, what was the reasoning be be before like uh, starting bot side. But as I said, if the reasoning is uh, my bot lane is going to give me a leash and it's going to go faster, it's it's really bad. You should never think like that. If you are like, okay, I want to play top side because my Nasus has an Ignite and I don't want him to fall behind. Also, I think that, for example, I beat Graves and I want to match his clear. Okay, why not? Um, you, you will know. When you will see the video, you will know what, what was your reason. Okay, so now, really important information. Graves is starting bot side. So it means that by doing bot to top, we're going to match him on top side. Both junglers are going to be on top side. And now something that's really important is, do we have top prio and mid prio? It means that, does Nasus, can Nasus just push out the lane and help us? Does he, has the does he have the advantage? And same for Vagar. Well, it's Vagar versus Ari. We said it already. Top is scaling, mid is scaling. Vegar versus Harry uh, with Ignite. Vegar doesn't have the prior. He doesn't have the push. He he's not stronger. Nasus versus Poppy. Same shit. He's not stronger. It's not because he has Ignite that he's magically stronger. So here we're already pu putting ourselves at risk. Just just because now we know that uh, soon we're gonna be top side and we are not gonna have top prior most likely and we're not gonna have mid prior. And then we're gonna have to contest a scattered crab against a Graves plus Poppy plus Ari, basically. It could be 1v3 even. So I think my play, if I'm still starting bot here for some reason, I mean now it's too late, will be to do bot to top, clear my all, like all my camps, then reset. And by the time Graves is doing top scuttle, I go straight back to bot and I do my bot scuttle, and then I do a uh, clear bot to top again. And then I will be very, very close to my level six. That's easy. Like in, in low elo, because I know it's not ranked, but when you're not playing into like really, really good players, like if you just perma clear camps, you're going to stomp your games. It's that easy in jungle. Maybe I should actually play a, a game of Trinder jungle after that, just to, because just it, like it makes me want to play a Trinder jungle game. Um, so now let's see, let's see what you're doing. So as I said, because you have no E, I think I think I think this clear is actually like really slow. Yeah, I think E, e is way faster. <coughs> okay. Now something really important that you're already not doing. Whenever you're clearing your camps bot side of the map, you should be looking at mid and bot. Like whenever like you're like just autoing something and you don't have to look at your champion, just look at mid and bot. And whenever you're clearing your camp's top side, <coughs> you look at top and mid. That's it. Just to try to understand like what's the dynamic, you know. Try to see if something is happening. Uh, terrible E. I think I think you need to use your E not like here. You saw how you used your E this way and then you come you came back that way. Well, you have to wait for all the little like. Uh, <coughs> Sorry about that. Golems to appear. 
and then you just do one E out that both kills them and also brings you to your next camp. So now you're already being a, a bit slow on your on your clear. Okay, that's a really like because that's the lane that you can maybe impact. So you're again really bad. Okay, you need to stop doing this. Your ease needs to be to both clear camps. <laughs> to both clear camps and go towards your next camp. Here you keep like ing in and then going away. That's not yeah, you're losing like seconds. And now look at what I talked about. We don't have mid prio, Aries pushing, and we don't have top prio. So now is not the moment to make a play into top side. Now is the moment to make a defensive play. That's bad. That's terrible. You saw how from champ select, I caught that that was not the play. And now even like if in the 1v1 it looks like you can do something. Now look at that. Poppy can come and, and, and help. Ari can come and help. So you're just like flipping a smite basically. I don't like this. I know it looks like, yeah, you stole you stole red buff, it's really good. I don't like it. Look at that. Th they are being bad players, mid and top. They can just come on you, collapse, even if you stole red buff. <coughs> you have no flash, they just collapse on you. The waves are bouncing back to them, so they don't need to stay top and mid. They just come to you, you're dead. Graves gets uh, first blood, or someone gets first blood, and it doesn't compensate for your red buff. This is not a good general idea. They're just... Their enemy team is just trolling, basically. So now once that had, has happened... Hopefully we're gonna... No E in again. You need to E out. E on your way to your camps. Um, okay, I'm fine with this. And then you need to think about... Like, for what amount of gold do we want to base? What's a good power spike? I think on Trindamer Jungle, a good power spec could be Tiamat. Could also be uh, tier 2 boots, even if it's not the best, because you're still like not going to do like the camps as fast as you can with Tiamat. Okay. By the way, we saw that Graves was bot side. I mean, I don't know like how advanced it is to just press tab look at the amount of camps he has like the amount of cs he has so you kind of know if he did scuttle already or not and then you kind of know where the jungler is or is gonna be so just press tab look at the cs and yeah okay you did it i don't know if you looked at it in real time do you have the time yeah so basically um he has four camps and when we met him top, he was level 3, so probably that he did his 3 camps bot. Now he already did scuttle. So now what is he gonna do? Most likely he's either gonna re-clear bot to top again without backing, or back and clear bot to top again. Those are his two options. So now you kinda know what Graves is gonna do for the, last mi for the next minute and a half, and you can like adapt your plan for it. For example, you could go for a Drake here. Just because of that. Because you know that Graves did. Camp spot into top, but then you invade him and 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 you chase him out, and then he go he went back bot. He took scuttle and gank bot. Now what is he gonna do? Like best play for him is to go back bot to top. But by the time he's gonna be bot to top, that means that you can actually like maybe take one more camp, base rush Drake and and do a and do a five minutes Drake. For example, not saying it's the absolute best play, not saying it's the, the only play, but it's the kind of things you need to be thinking about. Okay. Uh, you shouldn't queue. You, sh you shouldn't queue uh, when you're jungling. You should queue as, as little as possible. You want your furry to be as high as possible, to have as many cr crits as possible, to have the best clear as possible. Uh, Whoa. I mean, okay, I guess. I mean, what if Poppy just... <laughs> what if Poppy just moves back, you know? So, I mean, in, in League, sometimes you're gonna do the wrong play. And, and 
you are not gonna get punished for it, you're gonna get rewarded for the wrong play, and sometimes you're gonna do the right play and you're gonna get punished for it. I think it's just way more consistent to keep like, clearing your camps. Or if you're gonna gank, you're gonna gank by this side, and also I talked about red trinket, so you would have a red trinket, so you would know if, if she sees you or not. But yeah, I guess that she wasn't worried about you and you can still kill, so I mean, it's fine. Uh, but I don't think this is supposed to happen. And now you have a lot of gold. You have a lot of gold. We kind of know, we could have known that he's not on that Drake. So now, we, you, yeah, you carry your, your top. You're gonna go towards your bot, so I'm expecting you to just back here. Nice. I would personally, I really like Tiamat. Uh, in, in the jungle makes you clear everything so fast even like like solo target camps but also multi multi target camps but you can go whatever you can go non quiver and, and tier one boots if you want but you need to buy tier one boots wait you go out of base with 296 gold you just wait one second and a half you get tier one boots this is really bad Movement speed is so important, especially as a jungler. Here you just don't want to buy your boots for some reason. Um, I I mean, okay, two. I mean, I have is I have two issues here. The first one is by clearing this camp first and not golems first. Now you're kind of forcing yourself not to do golems, because now look at look at the the, the road you're taking. So you came from base all the way here and then if you're gonna take golems it means that you're gonna cover this distance and then this distance again to go to top when if you actually just if you want to full clear then you can just go here and then boom this is way faster now i'm fine with it only if you have a play that you want to make happen somewhere around bot you just want to stack fury and then make a play but I think that at this point, your play should be to get level 6 and then make a play. That would be better, I think. Um, but we'll see. Maybe you have a plan at that point. And also, the other thing that I don't like is that, um, as I said, when you're, when you're clearing bot camps, you should be looking at bot and mid. And where, when you're clearing top camps, you should be looking at top. But here, I don't think... Regardless of what happens, stop. You're you're not gonna be able to impact it. It doesn't like matter too much to you. Okay. I like that pink ward. I mean, you don't even have to drop a pink ward. You can drop your normal ward, so they don't know that you have vision. But you see, now you kind of like just move this way or on this way, red buff. And if you do golems after red buff, now it's pretty, it's pretty bad. Yeah, because now what, what after golems? Now, if you want to go top after golems, you have to move across the whole map. And it's, it's actually pretty slow. Now this is happening. You sh we should be looking at this. Absolutely. As soon as it's starting, we're bot. We can impact bot. We should be looking at what's happening bot. You're too far from me to, to, to impact this. So you should be looking at this. There's a play here. Enemy jungler is here. What's happening? Can we go? Can we not? Okay, you missed your E. I want to see the, the HP bars. It matters. If they have like 100 HP, I think you, you should go. If they have full HP, you shouldn't. But you need to look at the HP first. And you, here you need to be looking at the action. Unlock your camera. Look at the action. Like You don't have to be looking at your champion. So W first, do not E. Please do not E. You don't need to E. You're gonna close you're gonna close that distance. And then you can keep your E to follow. You eat. And Trinomir, if you don't need E to close distance to gap close, you shouldn't gap close with E. You should just walk on top of them and then if they have a flash left, if they have a dash to that minion, for example, they can maybe dash. Uh then, you see? And now you cannot kill her. Because you eat first. So th that was your only mistake. If you W first, you get on top of her, then you can keep following her. Also, like your kiting is not perfect, but this you're gonna work with timing. Just auto move, auto move, auto move. You would actually kill her, get level 6, be able to kill Leona, and, and probably kill Graves also. This, this was a free triple kill here. 
only mistake is, as I said, uh, eing. You don't need to e. You run so much faster than her. You run this way, you're gonna get on top of her. Don't worry about that. But now, and also because you're not moving between your auto attacks, you're ghosting. You need to move between the auto attacks. You click once, move. Click twice, move. And now you're stuck. And now you don't kill. When this was a triple kill, actually. Okay, now we're going to top side. Oh, no, 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 no. You need to buy boots. Boots are too important as a jungler. Boots are way too important. So it's way better than crit. Boots and attack, attack speed. Oh, unless you're, you're, you're playing with the rune that gives you boots. Is that it? I'm not sure if you're playing with that rune. If you're playing with that rune, you shouldn't. It's bad. On Trindamir at least. Uh, okay, so we're gonna clear this. Oh, and by the way... This is happening, we see Graves. He just took Drake. So it means that what? He's either, if he has bot camps, he's now gonna do his bot camps into top camps. Or he's gonna reset into top camps. Or reset into bot camps. Like, we're not sure at that point. But he just took a Drake, so he needs to take a base now. Now, Nazis is actually kinda winning. And Vegar is like full HP, he's holding and you have a pink ward here. I would go straight into Herald. Straight. Uh, after, after I skip that camp, so after I take that camp, I take that camp and go straight on Herald. Oh, uh, yeah, I maintain my position. And actually Graves is level 5. He had to base, he didn't take his base. And, and, and he cannot contest you on Herald. So Herald is 300 gold, plus the platings, plus the experience. Plus you can still take your camps after. But I like that we're doing camp stop and something's happening mid and now we're looking at it. But same, now you're moving and you're not seeing what's happening. You don't need to be looking at your champion here. You need to unlock your camera. And again, you E when you don't like... Yeah. Don't need and now you give out information. And now I think it's boots diff. Imagine if you had boots. Yeah. Movement speed is too important, way too important. I still can. I think you can still do Herald. Look at top prior. Top is pushed. Vega probably has a TP. I would check that. Uh, Ari is dead actually. So I think Herald is the most important objective here. But now you're doing it a bit too late because now Graves has the time to get level six. Exactly. Exactly what I said. Now Graves had the time to get level six and to come and contest you. So when Graves was level five was the moment. Again, W first, no need to E. W first, no need to E, and this would be way easier. Or you could actually kill him. But here you don't kill him and you die because of your E again. So your E usage, when you're clearing, use it to both the damage and move. And when you're fighting, use it only to gap close. Use your W first, try to get on top of them first, and then look to use your E. Also by boots, you need boots, absolutely. Really important. So now you messed up the the Herald when you had like multiple opportunities to take it. Did you use your A again when you didn't need it? Yes, exactly. Graves cannot go through this way. There is a turret. So he can only go through this way. But now you E on him. And now you let him escape. Yeah. Again, so, so yeah, that's that's... Maybe like probably the biggest thing that I'm seeing now so far is how you use your E's. Um, and also, yeah, don't press Q in jungle again. You don't, this is really bad. Makes you care way slower. Okay. Yeah, okay, so you have the, you have the, the rune for boots. I understand. I think it's bad. I think boots, even tier one boots, like it's, it's, too big of a spike, especially on Trindamir where you need to get on top of your opponents. So we never go that boots. Or these boots. So now let's see. In that situation, you're going bot, you have your camps to take. I would look at, at bot first, like what's the HP bars, what's the situation really good. So now you can be thinking, okay, can I just... Maybe because we have Alistar, I can just take this and then move. Really nice, why not? But they're moving back, so we, we just kind of cancel, cancel the play. 
Again, W first. Uh, could it have went wrong if Graves was here? My only question is, if Graves, Graves was here, counter ganking, do you still win the 3v3? If you think that yes, okay, you're fine. If you think that no, you shouldn't go for that play because you don't have information on Graves. That's my whole point about it. Otherwise, it's really fine. But I maintain that you should buy a red trinket. You don't have a red trinket, right? Yeah, you should buy a red trinket so you know that you're not seen in that bush. Because here you have you don't know if, if they see you or not. Maybe they're baiting and Graves is just behind, you know? Um, or maybe not. But that's really important. And actually, Graves was here. She was just a bit late. Okay, why base now? Uh, let's see. So here, what, what I will be thinking. Okay, we killed the bot lane. There is a Drake spawning. But can can we play for that Drake? Can, can, can I really play for that Drake? Well, I don't have my ult. I'm Trinomir without ult. I'm not a champion. So, might as well just, you know... Keep farming, I have information graves, keep getting resources. I don't have too big of a prospect to buy, and it's tier 2 boots now. Uh, but that's it, I have camps to take. I have a red buff, so I sustain, so I don't need HP. I will get HP, I will just go back to clearing camps now. I don't think I would base here. Because yeah, even if you want to play for that Drake, like without ult, it's, it's pretty risky. Yeah, you cannot contest that you're pinging that you're going, but I mean, I called it way before. Here, instead of basing, going back bot and then trying to contest a drink that you can't contest, I think the best play was just go take that camp, that camp, that camp top, and then maybe if they're going on Drake, at, at any point if you realize they're, they're going on Drake, you just invade the top camps, and now you get the top camps for free. But this is... Like, you go in without a smite, you go in without ulti. I mean... Even if it ends up working... It's not because it, it was a good play, okay? It doesn't even end up working, so you lose... You lose the fight, you lose the, the Drake, and, and, and we know it! So the Drake, we know it because you have no smite, and the fight, we know it because you have no ult. So yeah, but during that time you could have taken one, two, three, uh, four, maybe five camps with the red buff, six camps with the scatter crab, and and you'll be working on your second item already. Okay, that's like so simple things. Actually, like, you just need to simplify it. Just simplify it. Uh, what's easier to do? What's what's the the easiest lane to gank? So I would just path towards this lane. Do I have my ult? No, I don't fight. Do I have my smite? No, I don't go for a steal. Uh, that's pretty much it, you know. And now we're going for top camp. So uh, really important, if Vega has no TP, you, you need to get that experience. There's there's a big wave coming onto that turret. Big, big wave coming. As I said, you're clearing top camps, you should look at the state of mid and top. Now mid you have big wave, so you press tab, if Vegar has no TP, you just go there. You don't even have to take the CS, you just take that experience. It's it's very true experience. It's a lot of XP. I don't think if we want to fight this guy. First, if you're gonna see this guy, you just you should press tab and look at his items. But here I don't think you just wanna fight him. Uh Nasus is at base. Probably that's how he already took Scuttle and 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 yeah. I mean, there's nothing you can do here. You don't have ghost. I can I say that just there, like Pop is just trolling. Doesn't make it a, a good play. Yeah, and now because we don't have ghosts, we don't we do not outrun the guy. And you just die. And Vegar dies. So you actually like got a kill that didn't give you much. 
And can she just dash a wall? Yeah. So that was losing. You got a kill that doesn't give you thing, uh, a thing on Poppy. And they got two kills. And and you don't like you just you're just playing for nothing here and now remember how without ult you cannot fight now there is an objective on the map which is a herald and now you don't have your ult for herald so now you have your ghost so you see like you're fighting with your ult but not with your ghost and then and then and then you don't have your ult but you have your ghost but then you can't fight so i i, I would be thinking that my base play here i will accept that we probably cannot get that that herald and and maybe I would go blue buff this camp this camp and look to gank bot take something on the opposite side of the map oh shit um let's see what happens here so yeah we're gonna move towards blue buff again Naz is dead you don't have mid prio don't go crazy here do not go crazy. What are you doing? You need to be hitting something. I wouldn't get that top wave unless Nasus has no TP. Does Nasus have a TP? Actually, it was a good wave. You just fucked Nasus's wave, by the way. So Na Nasus, he wants to uh, stack, you know. This is a really good wave. Best way you can do is the best thing you can do is like hold it a bit, so it's gonna it's gonna you know freeze on that next wave. And then you as a jungler, your mission is not to take those waves. Your mission is to take your waves when your laners cannot take them. And not take them when they can take them, you know? So I would just go bot here and clear uh, the bot camps. Now you just you just fucked, fucked Nasus over, basically. And now it's it's four of them on, on the top side of the map. Just go clear camps. It's okay. It happened. Just, just go and clear your camps, basically. Maybe look to defend mid, but if they're not pushing mid, just clear your camps, basically. I don't think I don't think we want to contest that. Like simple math, you know, simple math. It was their both lane. And Graves and Poppy versus three of you, basically. So it's like it's like a 3v5 here. So just maybe you can go for the steal. But again, like, Poppy is trolling so much, it doesn't make these good plays. Imagine now a world where Poppy uses the tiny brain she has and ults you away. Boom, 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 pew! Before uh, the Herald is in smite range. Well then, pew, you're back here. And then, pew, Graves smites the Herald. And you have wasted more time, you know. So, I mean, I mean you're just... Okay, now, okay, now suiciding for this can be decent. Or if you can go in and out, that can be fine. Okay, why not? When is Drake now? Next objective is Drake. When is it and how long? Very really important. Let's see if we can play for that. Because now we see that they didn't base. And you have a Herald that can help you get the Drake. Herald is really good because it can open up objectives. You can put Herald mid, that way they, they need to defend Herald, and then you can go on a Drake or something. Uh, so, I don't know if you press tab at some point. To see the exact timer, it's gonna be less than a minute if we see this. It's really important. Let me get this information. Oh, that was... I don't know if you saw anything pressing tab like this. But yeah, here we don't need to be seeing our red buff. Look at bot. What's happening bot? You can look at mid, of course, if you want to impact mid. But also, look what's happening bot? And also, when is... Drake spawning? 70 seconds. Interesting. Because now you have a back advantage on that Graves. Um, oh yeah, there was no TP on, uh, on this guy. And, and kind of tells you, like... So you, so you know, like, maybe there will be an opportunity, maybe not. But yeah, this guy has no mana. You just shut down Ari. I would use... Okay, you can E in here. He's super low. E in, you have the smite to slow him. Okay, not even needed. Vigar is 1v9 in. So now we can kill. Put Herald mid. 
I would have put Herald mid. Mid turret is so important. It's the most important in the game. So you secure... Yeah, I would put Herald mid here. Super important. And then get the Drake. Then invading could be risky. So now you gotta, you gotta look at what's your next item. How, how much gold do you need for your next item? And once you get that gold, you just... Press B. This is... I don't like this. Again, what's the next objective? 1958, Nash. Nash is spawning and you're here showing yourself bot. So now when Nash is spawning, three of our team, 60% of our team is bot lane on a Nash timer. What if Graves went straight into top side? Now they can create a 5v2 situation on Nash. This is really bad. I don't like this. And they all came, come to you, which is terrible. Poppy ults you, which is terrible because they actually kill you here. I don't know. Yeah, Poppy is literally a in the game. But still, what I don't like, and you can keep that for your following games, is that you don't want, you're the jungler. The jungler never wants to be bought on Nash Timer. I would draw the line. When you're the jungler and you're playing on your side, if you go below this line, actually, you can open up a bit for red. This is int and same for our graves if graves goes below up we can open blue this line it is int unless unless you have like information on the enemy and you know they're not they cannot just go on nash if you're like yeah just below that line all of this as a jungler when nash is up you're inting you're inting your team because now they can just start dash and you won't be there in time for, for the smite, basically. Um, but now everyone is in thing because it's just a fiesta and and doesn't matter too much, but it actually matters a lot still. Because this, this doesn't do anything for both teams. So if you kill them, what do you do with it? Nothing, because you're too far from Nash. If, if they kill you, what they do with it? Nothing, because they're too far from Nash. So it's just, it's just straight up bad. So now what I'm expecting you to do is here you could even what's happening bot? Okay, Graves is not there. If Graves was still there, you you could even no don't go please. You could even do a Nash with the Nasus. Nasus can ult and you do a Nash. Here, please do not go bot. Please do not go bot. You win a bot. Okay. So for the reason they explained, the objective is top. You have a smite. You have 1200 damage to secure that big objective. You should never be going bot here because now once again it's it's alistar bot your adc dead and vegar base and nas space they can just go for nash again even without kaisa you're fighting bot again i don't even want to look at the mechanics you shouldn't be bot on that timer never 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 now we're going bot again and you are going for golems again on nash timer as the jungler. Really bad. Okay, now we realize that we need to play topside. And actually, I don't think you realize it. It's just like you see your team fighting, so, so you go in the fight. Okay, now we should be pinging already that we kill that guy and we do Nash. Your role is to stay alive here. Do you understand it? That here your role is actually... Because at that point, it's four of you alive versus two of them so your role is to w him i don't know why you don't w him when you get in range here would actually do a short e into w to slow him as fa as soon as possible so boom boom i would actually w instant here i don't know why you, do you didn't use the w from the whole fight and here i would even like e here so you're in w range and you w and make sure i don't die because again we are playing for the Nash. That's what we're playing for. So we throw the jungler, we kill the jungler, and then we can look to kill the Nash because it's four versus two. Then you face shake, you get killed, she gets killed, everyone gets killed. It's tragic. But I think if you W him, if he's throat, you can actually kill him before uh, Ari comes and help. Okay, and now it's gonna be different. Now what's going to be the objective? There is a Drake spawning. And see, now when the Drake was going to spawn, you are going top. You're going at the opposite of the objective, which is terrible. 
Um, now we have a kill. The jungler is killed, so we can look for an objective. You can you can throw an E in this case, just to kill them. Okay. You st you 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 need to have a red trinket at some point in 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 the jungle. W. Okay. This is fine because we have a smite, so now we can smite it. That's easy. But do not go bot. Do not go bot. Next objective now is Nash. You should not be bot. Nope. By the way, did you use your Herald or not even? Yeah, we didn't even use Herald when you had the opportunity to charge two turrets uh, top. Yeah, we didn't even use Herald. Um, okay. So yeah, do not do not go bot on Ash Timer, do not go top on Drake Timer. That's simple. Okay, now we're backing. Also, you are very close to your item, right? So that's kind of when you want to back for a power spike. Oh, actually, okay, no, never mind, you are not close. Wait, 900? Yeah, you are not that close. Okay, now... Moving towards top side, and now this is really good. That's where you want to be on the map. So, to help your team do Nash, you want to set up vision, you want to use a ward. I mean, the best would be to have red trinkets and a pink ward. And, and then you want to try to do something. For example, this scattered crab, super important. Scattered crab, super important. That's a really good way of helping your team. Playing around Vagar cages, playing around Alistar engages. Playing around, uh, around Nazis, playing, playing around uh, Poppy because she's inting the game and she's like so useless. Exactly. Uh, but keeping in mind always, always, always that we are the. Wait, wait, did we ult here? Okay, yeah, it's, 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 it's a misclick. Um, always that we are doing all of this shit. In order to look to either get Nash or prevent them from getting Nash. That's that's it. That's what we're playing for. Oh yeah, now we don't have the, the old. It's fine. And so as long as, as Graves is alive, like we kinda don't want to risk it. Here again. Never, 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 as a jungler, remember the int lane, you're in the int lane, so you're inting. Oh, and now you're, you keep pushing. No, 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 no. Really bad. Really, really bad. Again, you're not getting punished for it this game, but there's, like, that doesn't mean that it's a good play. And now Graves is inting. Now I would be the one pinging. Okay, guys, let's fight top. Let's run, run, run. Even if you have a ton of gold, let's run, try to make a fight. Graves might be late. Actually, it's fine to base. But you get the idea, like, I would be obsessed about it. W, W, W. E instant W. Don't forget that you have your smite also to slow. Like, here, W, and you can you can just go and kill the graves. Graves ma matters the most. It's the smite. If you kill the graves, you have a smite diff. Unless there's a big shutdown on, on, on that Samira that you want. But, but, yeah, I would look to kill the graves here. And because we W too late, W now after taking 80% of our damage, now we just get flashed in, we die, give Nash. Now there's a Cloud Drake. But now they have a Nash. So, and they are kind of winning the fights. So there is a chance that we cannot get that Cloud Drake. Wait, but Graves was late. I don't know what Graves is doing, but we saw that Graves backed. So I would instant go for that Drake, really good, and look to smite it. It's oh, uh, it's pretty sad. If you actually like Q, boom, boom, boom. If you on your last auto, you Q, so you get one more auto. E smite, you might get it. Actually, no. But but yeah, you you are right. You are right to ask for help and to go a bit crazy on it because you had the timer. It was a short timer, but you had the timer. This play, I'm fine with it because at least you played for the objective. That's what you played for. I'm fine with it. I'm not. I'm never gonna be mad at you for playing for an objective. Now, as we talked about, mid and, and top are scaling, and and this is what's happening. Oh, I don't like this though. Hero play. 
I don't think you should be looking. Yeah, you have no ult. What's your play here? What's the mission? The mission is very simple. Not lose the game. It's just, it's just the mission is only to not lose those turrets. You can even give inhib and try to tempo your your ult, and and then Alistar can help you. But I really don't like hero plays. Like train, yeah, you're trying to be a hero. You cannot. Oh, you forgot that you had no ult. But even even if you had an ult, like this is not what you want to play for. Uh, okay, what's the next objective now? Probably Nash. So what do we want to do? Play around Nash, not use everything before the Nash. And you might care, if she has a shutdown, it's fine. Let's see. Again, you E first, which is terrible because now, because you E'd, well, now you cannot E. Also, uh, okay, you actually smited her, but she cleansed that. And now you have another E, which could have been a bit longer. And yeah, the biggest issue is the first E. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, Poppy's tipping bot. Nash has to be spawning pretty soon. Actually, it's not. Oh, did they take a Nash that I missed? Yeah, probably. I don't know, we we'll see when you press... Uh, you press tab at some point but here yeah drake is spawning in a minute and nash is spawning around drake timer and i was split pushing which can be fine i mean i mean the thing is like you have team fight items but you're you're playing split push you can actually dive the guy if you go instant on him So much damage. Oh yeah, that's something that you haven't been doing. It's like whenever like you're interacting with someone, you need to press tab. You're super squishy, and she has like probably like four items. So yeah, she has a lot of damage, but she's also very squishy. So you can actually like, just kill her here. But my point is, it's not your mission to to speed push. It's not your role in that game. Here again, now there's a Drake up. They have no no jungler, but you're dead as well. So you cannot really play for this. Uh, where were we? Yeah, here. Again, you are the gender. Your responsibility is to smite objectives. And now you lose the Drake. Even if you got that turret and you kill the guy and you get the inhib, etc. It's still not worth it. It is not worth it. Because that's not your job. Your job is to play for the objectives. And now they get what? Cloud Soul. They actually got the soul. Now we're, we're, we're fighting by, by ourselves. I don't know if you try to defend the... The next... The, the Nash, but you cannot make hero plays. At this point... Nasus is insanely big. And, and again, that's why it's important to make the thinking during the champ select. Because in champ select, we saw that Nasus had insane scaling. And Vega has insane scaling. Alistar has CC. To help Nasus and Vagar deal their damage. So even if they're doing Nash, like Nash is not gonna win them the game. They don't get just Nash and win the game. So if you cannot defend it, you don't have to go for a hero play and try to defend it. But then Nash and a 4v5 after Nash, that can win them the game. So don't wanna go crazy. That's also why red drink is really important to make sure that you're seen or not seen. Uh, and now like yeah that's that would have worked only and legit only and it, it doesn't even work into poppy because she's gonna ult, ult your way only if now by coming the nash is at 2000 hp that's the only way that this is even worth it so so this is a big flip and you don't have to flip your game at this point because you have like really big conditions uh, of, of victory and you, you dying actually gave them the nash by trying to defend it you actually gave, gave it to them Again, at this point, we should play around Nasus, around Vagar. Where, where are you going? What are you doing? Are you going to push bot? Suit boy, come on. They have Nash. So it means that even if you push, they can, they can back in 4 seconds. And if you don't, they have a 5v4 situation with Nash on your base. Where are you going? What? Hello? Hello? 
that's it. They have dash. Even if you push and you get T2, T3 inhib, they can just base into seconds and, 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 and they, they come back and they death on you. And, and if they don't, well, then it's, it's just a 5v4 situation with Nash buff. And they just have one turret today. So they, they don't even have to fight your team. They can just hit the Nexus and they would get it. So yeah, that was that was a terrible play. Vegard didn't, didn't TP to backdoor, like he TP to flank them. That, that's what happened. So I don't know, I don't know what made you go bot. Um okay. So kind of a resume of what we saw. Uh start with E. Um fr okay, minute zero. Understand, like try to understand what's gonna win you the game and try to play towards this side. For example, bot here. Uh, try to make bot ahead. The game would have been very different, actually. Uh, second, use your E. I mean, take E. And then use your E to finish a camp and go on to the next one. Just like you did here. But do it when you finish golems. When you finish golems, up, up. Yeah, do not E in on these golems to go away. Finish this guy. One last auto. And then E away. Same for uh, this case. So yeah, if, if you did it like twice already on three games, it means that, that you do it a lot. Okay. Then uh, do not invade when you don't have prio in the lanes that are concerned. Top and mid don't have prio, so don't go for that invade. It's bad. It worked, but it shouldn't work. It, it didn't work because it's good. It's bad. Okay. Then keep in mind that by default you just want a full clear, which is fine with me. Don't go for the runes for the rune that gives you uh, the the boots. I don't I don't remember the name of the rune again, but it's really bad on Trindamir. Boots are so important on Trind. Okay. Uh, consider maybe Tiamat, you'll be surprised of how better it is than Noon Quiver for your uh, clear. Do not, if you're clearing, so if you're looking to, uh, okay, do not fight without your ultimate, basically. Do not fight without your ultimate. Try to understand better uh, the jungle tracking, what the enemy wants to do. For example, when we saw him with 16 CS, so he did his 3 cam spot and, and bot scuttle, it means that all he can do is either go top or go bot to top, so then you, you have a free drake. But then if you want a fight to happen, do not do it without ult. And if you want to clear your bot side, do not go for um, raptors first. Go for golems first. And do not, really important, again, it would have gotten you a triple kill. Do not E if you don't need to E. You have ghost, you have W+, you, you can cut her way like this. When she has to run like this, the map is a square. So yeah, so you cut her way, you have ghost, you have W. Uh, this is a free kill if you don't eat, but you eat. And between your auto straight to move. So you autoed, so now you cannot auto, so move uh, also. Okay. Uh, and then what else? What else did we talk about? Always play for the objective. So here, for example, Drake is gone. So we know that Graves either like... It's going to stay on map, but without backing, you just got level 6, so now you can fight, so now, boom, in, insta herald. We play for the objectives. Objectives, object, not scuttle, herald. Not scuttle, herald. Okay? And now you give him the time to get level 6, actually, and you would use your smite on scuttle, so... I mean, you still, okay, you had two smites, why not? Boom, boom, boom. And then from that point, it's going to be the same thing again and again. You don't have ult. You don't want to fight. You have ult and ghost. Now we can look for a fight. If you think it's losing a 3v3, consider that the enemy jungler is going to be there. And don't go for it. If you think it's winning, you can go for it. And now you don't have ult, so don't base to get strong to go and fight that drake. You're not going to be strong. Just stay on the map and clear camps and get fed. So boom, so that's bad because you fight without your ulti and you try to steal a uh, Nash uh, Drake without your smite. Up, up, up. This only works because, because Poppy hinted it. But now, yeah, and also don't fight for nothing. Here you're fighting, 
for nothing. The objective is not up yet. And now by the time the objective is up, guess what? You don't have your ult. Now her ult is up and you don't have your ult. So fight for something, don't fight for nothing. Don't take your... Oh, yeah. Get that XP mid when Vegar cannot take it. But don't take your laner's wave when they can take it also. And that's already a lot of concepts. So, I mean, I, I'm giving you a bit toolbox and then you, you will see what you focus on. Uh, that was that was bad. That That's not supposed to work also because of Poppy ult. Because you had nothing. And, and the last concept, do not be bought on Nash timer. Also, use your Herald uh, in a smarter way. You had the Herald. You killed mid turret is the most important in the game. It's both the fastest way to the enemy nexus and also it opens up the map so you can push mid and go top, push mid and go bot. So it opens the whole map for you. Um, so use the Herald for that and do not go bot when Nash is up. Do not go top when Drake is up and there is no Nash, basically. And I think that's about it. And then it's going to be like the same kind of mistakes again and again, you know. Um, of course, this boy has been a, a bit tough during this coaching, I know, uh, but I mean, I don't know how you are, like, what's your personality, so I cannot adapt to it because I'm just, like, doing a VOD review. Of course, it's a coaching, a coaching is a roast, you know, sort of, because I would talk about other things that you're doing wrong. Uh, other things that I'm not talking about, you're doing, like, right or pretty decently. But, uh, but yeah, I talked about a lot of concepts. Um... Try to focus on just a few of them. It's going to be hard to like take all of them and focus on all of them at the same time. Try to just take three or four that you know uh, are mistakes that you keep making during your games and, and, and try to focus on those. Um, okay, and something you can do also, I mean, I don't have many games yet, but I think that the games that I posted on my channel where I play jungle, I actually put jungle in the name so you can just use the research bar. Um, how to be impactful as Trin Jungle. Um, what else do we have? Game 37 versus Elise, Trin Jungle part 2 in Master Elo. I think I have only two games playing Trin Jungle. But I think it's good enough, like, we can learn from those. Like the concepts. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe we can watch it like real, like watch parts of it real quick to see like the concept, the concept that we talked about. E so don't in that piece to kill on Gregus. It's oh man, I didn't change the scene. Oh, I didn't change the scene at the time. So now we don't have the thinking. Oh, we're actually level five already. Okay, so that's terrible. This game is not gonna be very helpful. Maybe this one is. Yeah. Jungle. Let's see. It's a Trinjungle game again. Okay, let me see. So I want this. I want. Uh, oh, in terms of rune, also that's what I use personally. I use celerity and water walking. I think so. Move speed because with celerity you get more move speed from the blue smite once it's evolved. So you you run super fast, and with water walking you walk faster uh, in the river, which is super important because there's where. Uh, you have uh, Herald's Drakes and Ashes. And also with Celerity you get more move speed from the water walking. And I don't need that much tenacity. I'm hitting camps most of the time. So I go Alacrity. And that's that's how I do it. Guys, it's Trin Jungle again. Let's go. So we do our best. We do our best. Trin Jungle in Masters. Let's go. Um, I need to think. I need to think a lot. So it's Elise Jungle. So she has 10 times. Okay, now we do the thinking. Listen to what I'm saying. Not yeah, just to see like the things that I'm um, I'm thinking about you. Yeah. My impact early on, that's for sure. Uh, she has ten times my impact. Four, six. So now I'm saying it. It's Elise with Dark Harvest. She's gonna gank a lot. I don't want to match her, and I cannot um, match her. Look at him, so, so I'm calling my team to just scale, and yeah, just I'm listen. Scale hard, so I don't need to play top side. Uh, but we have Renata. Uh, we, we can have some sort of set bot. Mid is um. I, I, if I can look to help the Kali. Get ahead. Okay, where, where would I put my ward? Where would I put my ward? Okay, I need to do 10 times the thinking when I'm playing jungle. I'm going to just put it here. Can't be, uh, can't be bad. No pull. 
Okay, the word that they talked about. So you can go for that word and then. So I think I want, so to, look sides. I want to look to help. I should have probably also. bought a red trinket. Uh, no pool, so being a nice jungler, means you start by yourself. Yeah, I'm gonna just ignore the top side of the map. Yes, TP. And here I do a bit of a weird uh, weird start, but it's because I, I want to play bot side. Phyllis will be playing for bots, but she will be faster than me. And oh, also I start with my E. I think it's, 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 it's a pretty fine one. Also, you don't need the red, the blue buff. So if you're starting top, you don't really want to start with blue buff. It only gives you like 10 haste. Like it's, not, it's, like it's not the most important thing. And now look at the E. We talked about it. I mean, I missed it a bit. But at least the idea is that you need to E to both damage and move toward your, your next camp. And I was still learning, you know. Okay, now I want to go bot, but I will still look at top. Okay, then, okay. We take that. I want to say so you see, I want to play bot. My plan is to go bot, but I'm clearing my camp's top side. So I need to okay. be aware of what's happening top side, and I should be aware of what's going mid. I mean, it's ace also. Whatever's happening here, he can just W away. I can be a bit scared of Elise looking to counter game, but she has no prior mid. So it would be shit. Can I, can I and now you see, I stay super low HP, because as Trinomir, the lower you are in HP, the more ID you have, and also the more fury you have, the more crit you have. So by staying low HP and not pressing Qs, you actually like uh, you actually uh, clear the camps faster. And now I press Q at the end because I know I'm gonna get all my fury again. So I'll be full fury, and also I'm not in danger. I don't want to put myself in danger of just getting killed by by Ellis, basically. I know she, that she sees me, so it can be risky. Because I'm tracking Elise. Elise saw me. She can't come to my CS. Okay, at that time I wasn't okay, counting CS. Mate, mate. But I know that, okay, she can't come from here, so I'm gonna put myself so, so I see. So far, so good, so far, so and good. and I, 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 I stay I ready to smite, you hospital. know. And now I don't wanna match her. Okay, that was my mistake. Because I said I don't wanna match her bot, because again, it's Elise versus me. So I want to go play for top skeleton. Now I know a bit more about jungling, and now that I know that what I would have done was actually base and go straight to top skeleton. This way I'm actually fine. I'll actually kill her. And now I run straight to the main top skeleton. That's what I wanted to do actually. And now I'm clearing top to bot again because, as I said, I wanted to play for bot side. So if I want to play for bot side and do top to bot, well, after doing top to bot, what can I say next? What can I do next? Top to bot. Top to bot, top to bot, and then I'm always playing for bot side, basically. And here I'm kinda, I'm kinda looking to get my 6, but you know, on my way, I see that something might be happening, so I just hover for it. Okay, we see this. Could I invade? Can I look to invade? Mm hmm, asking myself questions. I don't think it's good because I'm still not level 6. And I have no mid prio. And I have no bot prio. So if you just use this, they don't play from going for golems or going bot. We just hover bot a bit. Go for golems, you want to CS and get close to level 6. I'm really proud of myself looking at that game. So you see, and it's actually like not that complicated. I'm not doing like crazy what? things. Okay, now I don't have my 6. Mid, mid so mid yeah. I will buy my Tiamat. I have my first clear. This boots. Mm -hmm. boots. Red trinket. Look at that. Early boots. Really good. Red trinket is really important so I know when I gain that I'm not seen. Insane. And now we killed. And I'm looking to take something for it. So I feel like Drake, it's gonna take me forever. I'm a bit too slow and I don't have my bot prior and mid wants to base also. Uh, Herod is not up yet, so let me empty the jungle first. Boom, this, red. Pink ward here, and I'm trying to talk about on Herald. Okay. To contest this. Boom. And then I know she's top, I don't want to flip a Herald that she can just deal with the smite. And I have my ping there also. And, and I don't know, and now I see her bot, so I react instant, I don't have the time to match her bot. And I told my team that I cannot match her early on, so boom, instant herald. Instant herald. Bot actually won, etc. So at that point my team is winning, but, but you see like the things that I'm doing. And now because bot killed, I skip all my camps, and now it's herald and Drake. And now I'm getting everything. So you see, it's actually like... You, you, like you need to be able to like the more advanced plays that you need to look for are actually easier to do. It's actually it's actually like pretty straightforward. No prio, no invade. Uh, jungler bot, we do something top. 
Uh, not level six, not fight. Level six, fight. I mean, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward, you know. At last. So, so yeah. Naturally, look for the scuttle. I mean, that's. I mean, that boy made him is winning too hard. But, uh, but yeah, I think, I think, I think it it could be good to have an example of like how at least do it. So, so, um, so you see it in action, you know. Okay, well, I think that's uh, that's about it for me, suit boys. So I will take that video, upload it to YouTube, send it to you before I upload it to YouTube, so you can start watching it and working on it. Of course, if you want to ask me questions, you can ask me on Discord regarding that game or the game in general. And hopefully it has helped either you or anyone playing Trindamer Jungle. Uh, I will probably do uh, a series at some point where I will play like Trin Jungle only on the account. Like I actually want to do a series where I play I go on four accounts. It's gonna like it's gonna take forever. It's gonna be like a six month series, but it can be really fun. I do a top account, mid account, ADC account, jungle account, and I try to bring them uh, only Trin Number by the way, and I try to bring them as far as possible. I play like a hundred games on every account, and I see where it brings me. You know. I think it could be pretty fun. Uh, so so yeah, if you want to see some Trinder and Jungle, it's gonna happen at some point on my channel. But uh, but I think it's actually a decent champion. Like like the way I see it, I see it as a better Shivana. You know, like Shivana wants to farm six and then impact. But I feel like Trinder wants to farm six and then impact. But Trinder just I feel has a better level six power spike. And 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 yeah, like you can do so many things with Trinder Jungle. So yeah, hopefully you liked it, Suit Boy uh or anyone watching this uh thank you so much guys see you next time peace bye bye